Looking through a long list of data for one specific item would be challenging. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this easily using the index and match functions. We're going to go over how the index function works, how the match function works, and at the end of this video, we'll use the index and match functions together to solve this challenge. So my goal for this video is to help you understand how you can use these two functions in Excel by providing you with the most simplest explanation out there. But I need your help. What I need you to do is watch this tutorial the whole way through and at the end, leave a comment if you understand how to use these two functions by typing got it. And if you don't understand by then type confusing or copy and paste a link to a more simple tutorial or explanation on YouTube. So the index function is an Excel function that returns the value at a given position in a range or array. So let's say we want to quickly find out how to locate what eight times seven is in our multiplication table here without using a calculator. We could do that with the index function because we have the three things that we need to complete an index function, which is a table array right here, this whole table. We know which column to use because it's the eighth one here. And we know which row to use in the array, which is the seventh one. So let's type out this function in cell L1. So we'll type equal index open bracket. And the first thing we need is the array. So starting with the one here, I'll highlight this whole table and that's our table array. And then I'll separate that with a comma because now we have to look at the row number and we know we're looking for row seven. So I'll type in seven here and then I'll separate that with a comma. And now we look for our column number, which is column eight. You could do that in reverse order if you want to as well. So you could have done uh, row eight, column seven, or row seven, column eight to get our answer. But I'm gonna do it this way and then close the bracket. And then once I press enter, we should have the correct number. And let's confirm. And yep, eight times seven is 56. So we've used the index properly in this example. So the index function is great by itself if you know the column and rows that you're looking for. But what happens when you don't know which column or row to use? So the match function is great if you don't know which row to reference in an array like in this example. So let's say we have some friends who are having a baby boy soon and they haven't landed on a name just yet, but they want us to try to locate a fairly popular name, but also one that's not too popular at the same time. So in column B, we've gathered a list of the 100 top names of the year 2021 so far. And in cell E3, we want to use the match function so that we can look up whatever name is in cell D3 and see where it belongs in the array in column B. So in other words, it'll tell us where in this array is the name Easton located. So which row is it located in? And that'll tell us where it's ranked in the top 100. So this is what it would look like if we started typing that formula. It would look like equal match, open bracket. The lookup value is this cell reference here. And then we'll put a comma. The lookup array starts in B6. And then I'll just press Control, Shift, and Down arrow on my keyboard. That'll select the whole range so that we don't have to manually look up where that name is located. And then we'll put comma and then zero because it's an exact match. It's not a number that can't be less than or greater than. Uh, so we'll put zero, close the bracket here, press enter, and it tells us that it's located in the 74th row. Or you could also say that it's the 74th rank name out of 100. So maybe we want to look up something that's slightly more popular, but not too popular, like maybe something outside of the top 10, but a little bit more popular. So let's try, oh, I don't know, um, Hudson. Okay, it's the 50th one, maybe something just slightly more popular. So we'll type in a different name here. And there, I think we've landed on Logan. So that's how you could use this match function to tell us where some of these values are located based on which row they're in. Now it's your turn. If you wanna practice, I'll put the link in the description box below this video where you can download this practice file and use the match function to find where the name Connor is located. The match function has one purpose, to find the position of an item in a range. So in this example, I have no idea which row this KE200 item is in, especially in a worksheet with over 700 items in it. However, we can use the match function to find it. We'll start typing equal match open bracket in cell F6 to get started. Now we need our lookup value. This is the value we want to search for, which is that KE200 item. So we'll type KE200 with quotations around it in our function. Next, we need our lookup array, which are all of the codes in column D. 
To quickly highlight this range, I'll click on the first cell, D10, then press Control and Shift and down arrow on my keyboard all at the same time so that I can highlight this range. Then I'll select our match type and we're looking for an exact match or zero. Once I've got that in, I'll add a close bracket and then press enter. Now we have our match function or we know our item is in row 33, so it's not worth $33, but it is located in row 33 in our worksheet. Now we can just cut this and use it within the index function. So for the index function or to look up what we really need in this worksheet, which is the, we want to look up what the suggested retail is for the code KE200. So what we need to find is where is our item located in the code column? And what's the corresponding suggested retail for that item or code? So to type that in, it'll be equal index. And then the first thing we need is our array. So I'm gonna go to the insert function dialog box, select the row, uh, array row number column option. And our array is basically that one column, the suggested retail column. So I'll click on the first cell here, cell G10. And then I'll use that little trick that I used with the match function where I press control, shift and down arrow on my keyboard. And that'll select all the values within that column. And this is where things get interesting. So we use the match function to locate which row our item is on. So we can just paste it right here in the row uh, number option in the index function. So I'll paste but then we just have to make sure to take away the equal sign here. And it tells us that that is in row 33. So the match function located which row this is in. The column number we don't really need because we only have one column in this example. So we can just leave that blank. When we press OK, it'll tell us that the corresponding suggested retail for that item is $350. Now that you've watched this whole thing, be sure to let me know if this made sense by typing got it, or it didn't make sense by typing confusing, or post a link to a better resource in the comments section below. Thanks and have a great day.